How do we check if something's in the FOV of an NPC? Well, it's very easy and I'm going to show you how. So here I'm demonstrating my AI works and it uses the script and I've moved it into a module in Forbidden so you guys can do it in one line of code also. So let's get into that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete my example and now you're going to come over to the Forbidden API and you're going to insert it into your game. The link will be in the description. You also can look up Forbidden on the store and go ahead and drag it into replicated storage. And once you do that, go into there and you're going to see the math module. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. However, at the bottom, you're going to see is in view and also is on screen. So you're going to use is on screen if you're doing a player's thing, like uh, if you're testing like on a player's screen, or you're going to do is in view if you're doing either on server side. So if you want to check it on the server side, if something is in view, you cannot do this script. However, if you're on the local side, you can do, or if you're on the server side, you can do this always, whether it's an NPC or a player. So let's get into that. I have this test over here. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to do script. Uh oh, I added something. I'm going to do a script and inside of here, I'm going to do local run service, build script, or game, build service, run service. I'm also going to do while true do at the bottom and do run service dot heartbeat wait. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and reference forbidden. So you're also going to get the run service or replicated storage, sorry. And then you're going to get our signal, uh, not our signal, our module, which is going to be standard. Standard also has the math library, so we can just reference standard and we'll have that for us. So we're going to do standard dot math dot is in view and we're going to do for our thing local char equals script dot parent and then our other is going to be the part we want to check is in the line of sight let me go ahead and make a wall here so i test it but is in view test is the name of mine so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to say workspace wait for child is in view test now i've done that i can do char other 70 is my detection fov do raycast i want to set the true so do raycast is going to do a raycast for us so also it will check not only if something is in front of it and in view but also if there's an obstruction so now that we've done that we're going to go ahead and tie this to a result and do if result then print c and end so if we hit run it can see the part we can see that at our bottom in our output and we also can put a wall in front of it and you're going to see it can go away because we have do raycast. However, if we come here, you can see it still sees it, still sees it, and then eventually it gets outside the FOV. So what is the FOV? The FOV is like a cone. If you think about your own screen, you have like a cone where you can see everything in front of you. So if you want to make the FOV, let's say, go all the way around, think about a circle. If you want to do that, it would be 180 degrees because in each direction, you're seeing 180 degrees. You're seeing 180 degrees to the left and 180 degrees to the right. So right now I have it set to 70, so I'm seeing 70 degrees to my left and 70 degrees to my right. If I come in here and I set it to 180, you're going to see, I will see directly behind me. So anywhere this can go, this dummy is going to see it. Now if I set it to 5, I'm going to have a very narrow OV. And you will see that whenever there's going to be very few spots where this is actually going to see it. And maybe not even any. It's very hard to get zero to print, which is where it would be around. So, yeah. But if we do 10, yeah, you're going to see it can see it. But it's very narrow. In fact, you can pretty much only see it up there. There you go. So, this is the FOV cone. It's seeing 10 degrees, which if I set my own camera to, I don't know if I can. I think I have to go in as a play here to demonstrate that. But if I go here, the workspace camera, I do FOV and set to 10. This is what the AI is seeing. So yeah, that's how you do the FOV checks in Forbidden. One line of code, simple to print. You can add a raycast to it very easily. Nice.